Hi, it's Tony here from the Think to Thrive team with this next video just for you during this challenging time. How are you doing? How are you doing? Are these videos helping? Is it good to have that few minutes each day just to think about some empowering thoughts uh, with Mike and myself? Hopefully, hopefully that is the case and we're able to serve. If you remember on the last video, I told you about the triangle that I drew when I thought about the state of union that I was going to be during this crisis. How is Tony going to? How is Tony going to turn up? Turn up for people during this time of crisis. Am I going to simply sit around and humorate and worry about the, the crisis and just become more and more isolated and sort of withdrawn and depressed? Or how am I going to choose to be? That's the best I can be for the world, for the community, for the people around me. So we came up with a triangle. And if you remember, I keep this with me every day. Here it is again, with the candle inside. The candles are still lit, everybody. We still hope the candle is inside the triangle, spinning out the letters that say the word set. Set that compass. So on today's video, we're going to look at the next letter in the word set, which is the letter E on the triangle. So what does the E actually mean? The E stands for empathy. You see, all of us are connected as human beings. We feel incredibly isolated at the moment, but the reality is we're all one huge, large organism, really, that's all linked together. We all have the same fears, we all have the same desires, we all have the same worries, we all have the same concerns about our family and about the, the way that, that things are. So empathy is really, really important. So what do I mean by that? Well, again, on that state of union declaration I made of how I'm going to turn up every day into the world, I thought empathy is going to be important. So it could be something simple. Right now, where you are, whether you're locked indoors or you're out on the front line and we're turning at home at night tired and confused or worried, whatever it is that you may be doing right now, you can find a moment for empathy. So for me, locked indoors, I thought, well, I've got two neighbours. I've got a neighbour on this side, and I've got a neighbour on this side. Now, I could have thought about the whole street. <laughs> you know, how can, I, how can I serve and show empathy towards the whole street? But on a practical level, my immediate focus is on the right and the left of me. Now, if we all did that, would you agree that we'd all collectively solve that problem of, of support for other people? So empathy, empathy is actually an interesting word because empathy actually means that you step into the shoes of the people around you, you listen to them, you try to understand what they're going through, but you may not understand it fully. You may not actually completely be immersed in their situation, but you can still show empathy. It's a really interesting word, empathy. So I decided I would write two letters, both for my neighbours, and I would post those neighbours, uh, those letters, sorry, through the neighbours post box, and I simply put, hi, it's Tony here, if you need anything, if you need a chat, you want to stand in the front garden and talk to me uh, two metres away, just in this beautiful weather about how you're feeling, or just want to me to collect you some milk to leave on your doorstep, it, it's something like that. Um, but I left a, a letter to say, here's my number, this is how you can contact me, I'm here if you need me. That was so simple, but incredibly effective in just reaching out left and right for me. Empathy. Now, during this time, and it, it's so powerful when we serve other people because we stop worrying about ourselves, how could you show empathy in your immediate environment? For example, you could decide that every day, and this is one of my, my, my other empathy decisions, you're going to speak to a relative and ask them how they are. You're going to phone mum and dad up, you're going to say, I'm going to phone you every single day to ask how you are, but it's just natural about the weather and the fact that the birds are singing and the daffodils are coming up. Just small talk, but very powerful for, for mental health. That could be one thing that you could do. Just simple things like that can have the effect of uh, changing people's lives during this moment of crisis. I'm going to hand over to my good friend Mike Hendricks, as always. <laughs> to my left or you could be to my right who knows which way you're going to appear Mike we don't know but Mike Hendricks is going to appear to close this second half of this video on empathy this is Tony Maddox signing out for your success I'm here thanks again Tony so empathy really strong and powerful word and something that I believe especially 
now more so than ever, we should be showing a lot of empathy. But I'm not going to sit here and say that's very easy. I myself do find it difficult at times, especially when I hear and see things that are really not true or go against my core beliefs and maybe my values. And it's very easy to get into that mindset of judging people, not showing any sort of empathy when it comes to people disagreeing or being at polar opposites from what you believe. But there's a lot of power in empathy and this is what we're inviting you to think about because similar to serving people, when you're coming from an empathetic standpoint, it can help not only yourself but also that other person as well. So. A challenge is for you to think about how you can show empathy. Tony mentioned about how he went round to the neighbours and sent them a letter saying how he can be of service to them in any shape, way or form. Um, for me, what I'm trying to do is obviously share these uh, inspirational videos with you and also when I go on social media because I do a lot of promotions on social media whether it be YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever. Um, I see a lot of negativity out there and it's very easy for me to get almost wound up but I'm empathising, I'm looking at the situation from other people's standpoint, other people's point of view and maybe realising that they don't have perhaps the information that I've been studying over the years, maybe they don't have the insights, I'm not saying I'm better than them in any shape or form but I'm empathising, I'm saying well that's their point of view, I may not necessarily share it, let me show, share something that is of um, positive energy, positive vibe, uplifting um, that may inspire people to perhaps change and that's what it is to be empathetic, understanding that next person's point of view. So how can you be empathetic? How can you show empathy? Think about that of these next days and months moving forward that may be that you want to be more empathetic not only to other people but also to yourself as well try not to judge yourself too hard all right again remember to share this value uh, video sorry and i will see you on the next one be safe take care be inspired to your success mm -hmm.